Once upon a time, there was a dream. A dream to obtain the dumbest rank ever on Nether Games, the YouTube rank. That dream was mine, and now we're gonna chase it. As you may have already heard from my previous videos, high school is starting soon. I even have an orientation tomorrow. I hope it doesn't hit me like a truck like all stereotypes usually suggest. Now that school's coming back, I won't have much time to upload or record videos, or pretty much play video games, because I, for one, value education. So with that minor setback in mind, getting this rank is gonna be a breeze. What? It requires 5k subs? Well then, I guess this is something better handled in smaller steps. Uh, okay. Plan time. How do I rise among the ranks? Okay, I figured out how to get a better rank. The thing is, it requires time. Time is of the essence, and thankfully I've had half the year to prepare for this. I've only heard of the Nether Game server for two weeks. I am a very smart individual. Credits! The Nether Game server has a credit and tier system, which give you an incentive to play on the server for better ranks or tiers, which is what we're going for. Okay, so if I vote for the server daily, I have a small chance of obtaining a free tier upgrade. I also gain 5 credits every time I vote, and 5 more credits for each hour I play on the server. But I also need to win in at least one of these mini-games 8 times within the hour. Oh yeah, I also want to play 2 hours a day so this doesn't get in the way of school. Which means I get 15 credits a day. This dream is becoming harder to achieve with each word I say. Okay, okay, this is fine. I can still calculate how long it'll take me to get a decent tier. The highest rank without me having to pay any money is the platinum rank. It says here that I get gold tier upon tier resets. Well, that's a thing. But it takes 3,600 credits to unlock. So if I get 15 credits a day and multiply that by 30, because 30 days in a month, I can get 450 credits in a month. Cool. So how many months will it take me to get platinum rank? It'll take me eight months? The tier reset happens every December 31st. That's in about five months. I won't have any time. Also, here's a side tangent. I actually figured out how to apply math skills to real life. I have regained my faith in mathematics for the time being and realized it isn't completely useless. Okay, okay, what do I do? Maybe I could find a rank that requires less credits. Remember, Kevin, small steps. So if I use this little equation, I should be able to figure out how long it'll take me to get diamond tier. Diamond tier is okay, it gives you bronze every time the tiers reset. One calculation later. Four months. I'll have diamond tier by December 2nd of 2020, and by 2021, I can grind for platinum rank. If the world hasn't been destroyed, that is. So, a bit of a disclaimer. I'm gonna commentate on random stuff while the gaming happens in the background. Whenever I perform PvP, I concentrate on the gameplay, so whenever I talk, it's incredibly awkward because I forget what I'm talking about midway into a fight. I'll still have a section where I make stupid edits. Maybe in streams, I can do a live commentary. I don't know, what do you guys want to see? Maybe leave suggestions in the comments? Anyways, let's get on with the actual PvP. Okay, my quest begins. I'm already a bit past one third of the way to bronze tier, which allows me to pick kits in Sky Wars. Well, I think I'm allowed to choose from the ones that suck, but I guess I'll go with the one that sucks the least. I uh, guess I could talk about things that are happening in my life. Besides school, I guess there's Pokemon to talk about. I played Project Pokemon on Roblox before it got shut down, and ever since that happened, my dreams of becoming the very worst like everyone's always been has fallen apart. I mean, I did play a bootleg version of it. A bootleg version of a bootleg version. Anyways, that's for another video. I haven't actually played any of the official Pokemon games except maybe Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is great because it forces me to go outside for marginally better Pokemon. And besides, biking's cool. Just don't play Pokemon Go while actively on a bike. I guess I could go brag about my Kyogre. Ky Kyogre's cool, it has a type advantage over Groudon. Mine has 2 star IVs and 2,354 CP. It's pretty good, it's just I don't have any hyper potions to heal it. So it's barely useful now that I've used all my potions. I'm sad. Moving on to a different topic. I guess I could talk about Minecraft PvP. It's not the most combat oriented game. Sure, there are add-ons and mod packs that are supposed to enhance the PvP experience. But it's, well, Minecraft, how good do you expect it to be? 
Anyways, here are the good platforms for Minecraft combat. The best platform is the PC. Wait, D do I want to get into that discussion? Anyways, I, I play on mobile. It's incredibly difficult to master, but once you're able to move fluently, you get insane reach. Like, so someone could be in your peripheral vision and you can just stab them even though you're looking in a completely different direction. I would know, because I play on this version almost exclusively. The only disadvantage is if there's just like a chest and you tap on it, which you'll see in a lot of my videos, it, I'll, you'll open it and then like the other person can stab you while you're in the chest. At least on PC you can aim where you're hitting and track your opponent with your mouse. I would buy Minecraft Windows 10, but the thing is I lack funds and I'm dirt poor and have to live my whole life depressed and knowing I'll never have the ability to track my opponents. Also, I played on the Lifeboat server before discovering other games, and although there are games that are fun there, they last so long that nothing exciting ever happens and everyone just sits around. I don't want to edit 10 minutes of me sitting around until the last guy walks off off the map, so I quit Lifeboat for now to play other games. It's essentially Hypixel but on Bedrock Edition and without as many players. It also <coughs> has a working friends and party system. Plus, it gives you proper kill credit. If you shove a dude off a cliff in lifeboat, it's not gonna say you shove a dude off a cliff in lifeboat. When they drown, burn in lava, or fall into the void, the game doesn't care, it just thinks they fell off on their own. Bow's also way better on lifeboat. Simple things that may be switched from one server to another. Then again, a 40 ping connection to lifeboat's actually pretty cool. Anyways, I've run out of things to talk about. Please suggest commentary ideas so I don't forget how to start a simple conversation. I guess I'll move on to the part of the video now where I edit things. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe. And if not, well, I'm just some random kid plays Minecraft on the internet. Um, well, I guess since I'm on the quest for the YouTube rank, I I need subscribers. So yeah, I just go, go ahead and do it. I, I didn't really script this outro actually. Actually, I'm recording this in my closet. One time I had to <laughs> go outside because my house is like so loud and everyone inside of it just doesn't want me to make any commentary. So there's always that. Well, I'll be, I'll be uploading within the next century. See y'all.